Happy end of the month. November 30th, otherwise known as National Mason Jar Day. What Happy else? Mason Jar Day. Maybe this is the day you do canning. Everything's been stewed and stored. I thought that's what you do around Thanksgiving when you bring everything in. I think all of our expertise in canning is really showing. <laughs> we should just not talk about things we don't know anything about. Well, that's what we're pretty good at. That sort of reminds me of our guest. In no way, shape, or form. <laughs> Ted Atherton. He's in everything from Sue Thomas, FBI. V Wars. Nothing too good for a cowboy. The Expanse. Degrassi, the next generation. Killjoys. Private Eyes. The Rogue. Dickstown. Border. Traitors. The Andromeda Strain. I started watching Five Days in Memorial. Oh my God. Oh my that's, God. That's his latest one. It's on Apple TV. On top of all of that, he's a singer. This big band that plays with the Winter Garden Orchestra. Ladies and gentlemen, Ted Atherton. Yeah. Yay. Hello, hello, hello. Ted, welcome. Hello. Thank, Thank you, you so much. This is a great show. So funny, so fast. Cool. Oh, wow, we appreciate that. that. We have so much Canadian talent and it doesn't get celebrated enough, but that's why we started this show. Ted, what was the spark got you into acting? It began, I guess, was in high school. It was the first time I was ever on stage. What was your first school play you did? Tom Stoppard's The Real Inspector Hound. And mm -hmm. I played the old Magnus Muldoon in the <laughs> wheelchair. As he would leave, he would go, well, I think I'll go oil my gun. <laughs> <laughs> I went to university and I did English and I did a lot of plays on campus at the University of Toronto. My first professional job, the golden age, got paid 150 bucks a week. I did 10 years of theater. Oh. Anywhere that there was a regional theater or here in town, I played the waiter in Death of a Salesman, oh. Royal Alex Theater here in Toronto. One night after the show, my agent calls me and says, do you know David Barlow? Uh, he saw the show last night and they want to bring you in for this part. Says, yeah, it's one of the leads. But I ended up getting the pilot movie for nothing too good for a cowboy. Oh. So that was my first television role. And I highly recommend being a lead in a movie as your first television role. <laughs> Sue Thomas, FBI. You became a regular on that series. Still, she was my first love and she rejected me. I felt I had to do something. So I simply had her transferred to a different biology class. Oh, Miles. Oh, Miles. A, a short period after Cowboy, I played a lot of rural types and rough-hewn guys. But after that, I started wearing a lot of suits and playing a lot of rich assholes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's Killjoys. I love playing that character. You are nothing, you know. Just another pretty doll trying to reach outside her box until I made you special. <laughs> oh, Gander, he was such a cool, fun character, so snide and, and wry. It was kind of a delicious show to do. So let's talk about Five Days at Memorial. That's on oh, right yeah. now. I'm on day four. Oh. It's so stressful. You can't binge oh, it. Oh, it's, it's so cool. good, isn't it? It's really wonderful when you're part of something that you know is really good with really wonderful actors. It's an important story as well. An absolute pleasure. Ted, do you have anything coming up? No, I Fine. Oh, do you guys need any help? Because <laughs> actually, you know what I'm doing? I sing with a 20s, 30s jazz orchestra called yes. the Winter Garden Orchestra. And I only have eyes for you. We're out of time. Thank you so much for asking me to do this. And thanks for being a guest. Thank you. Nice Appreciate to meet it. all three of you. Thank Bye. You. Clearly, he's really good at what he does. The clips that we're showing, <laughs> you get to really see his range. Like, comment, share, comment, subscribe. It really, really makes a difference, you know, it guys. It absolutely does.